At my lowest point, I felt like a complete failure and that I didn't deserve love or to be happy. I felt like I had no control whatsoever of my situation. All throughout high school, I ran cross country and I never really got into the gym outside of that. So when I graduated, competing at the next level wasn't really an option for me. Um, I moved away from home, of course, and I was kind of thrust into adulthood. I had a full class schedule and I also worked full time at the Bain Society, so I had very little time to do anything else. I really wasn't active in the gym at all. I had other things on my mind, you know, I had school on my mind and, you know, what was going to happen after school and, you know, what party are we going to go to that night. So I think it was, it was definitely um, the drinking that made me not care as much. I didn't get to stop. When I started drinking, I wouldn't quit. Even though I didn't do it every day, um, when I did, it completely overtook me. And I just wanted more, and I wanted to be that happy, fun person that everybody loved to be around because I was kind of trying to fit in. I've never really thought about why I started acting the way I did. Um, I had a really serious boyfriend in high school and we were we were gonna get married and after that when things didn't work out I kind of just lost my ability to focus. It really affected me like I I kind of went a little nuts after that you know you'd been rooted for so long and then your world's kind of turned upside down and you don't know what to do. I think that's when I started losing myself and started drinking more and I became really stressed out and really depressed, I think. It was a very difficult time in my life. Um, I wasn't happy with myself. I wasn't happy with the direction my life was going. I kind of felt like I didn't have any control. And in turn, I did gain a lot of weight. And I think that may have triggered some very not so great feelings about myself. But it was, I think it was this, the self-pity and the the negative thoughts that really ruled my life. And when you get that low, I think there's only certain, certain things that can bring you out of that. In the early spring of 2011, I got a call that my cross country coach from high school, which he had actually been a huge impact on my life. He was like a second father to me. He had been battling leukemia for a couple of years now and it was finally starting to, um, to really take a toll on his health. So I think that call was kind of the turning point for me. I started thinking about my life and what I had done so far and where I was and I really, I wasn't happy with myself and the choices I had made and I looked at my life and thought, man, what have I done so far? I'm, I'm not living the way that I should, that I would be proud of. At that point, I decided I was gonna run a marathon in his honor. I went and saw my coach after I finished and I showed him my medal. I said, hey, I would just want you to know I did this for you and you pushed me to be this person and to try and better myself. And seeing him proud of me again was really, um, was really inspiring. And he was battling, like I said, leukemia and myelofibrosis. So, um, and he'd been, he'd been in pain for a very long time. And that finally, that finally took him. He fought, he was really, he was really stubborn, so he fought for a really long time. But, um, he died in January of 2012. Um, after that, I decided um, fitness was really where I wanted to be, and I wanted to make sure that I lived my life just a little bit better every day. I really want to share with people that being healthy is not as difficult as a lot of people like to make you think it is. It requires discipline and consistency, but it doesn't require you to 
you know, shut down the rest of your life and only focus on going to the gym and eating well, um, there's definitely a balance. It's really a lifestyle change and you can't put your blinders on and just go through life without really living it. It's got to be, you know, a lifestyle day in and day out. And sometimes you make more progress than you do others, but, you know, that's okay. And you have to be, you have to be okay with that and you just have to keep moving forward.